I am so excited at the opportunity to teach you guys again in a lesson. But I wanted to show you some really exciting features that some of us have not realized yet. You can easily find it in the art section. So if you go and open Purple Mash, here's your main sections. Go to Art, Animation. Now, we've done quite a lot. In, so I'm going to show you very, very quickly. If you've got a circle and I drag it and put it there, I've got two of them. Most of us do have some understanding of the animation. Move an eye. I'm only going to make a single eye, you know, like the Cyclops. There you got your eye. And if I drag it and put it there, you've got two of them. Or you can even make it smaller by selecting and dropping it. So that would be smaller. You see two of them over here. If you switch on your onion skin, that would make it traceable. So you can see the first one's there. The second one's going smaller. Turn off the onion skin. It's smaller. And you can bring in the animation by erasing certain parts. Like if I want that eye to move there. So it's moving like this and then moving up. Then you can do that. Now, please do watch some of the YouTube videos about animation to get some understanding of how that's done. You can bring in sound over here. So when you do your animation, you can bring in sound. But when you make your animations, do bring in sound effects. Now, you can see there's a whole lot of them. You can go magic, music. So if I want to bring in music, I've never heard this music. You can even make your own music in Purple Mash, and you can even record. So You can bring in your sound effects. So record again. Let's go again. This is a recording that I want to put on my first slide. You guys will obviously put something more exciting. And then on the second slide, just put in your rubbish. And I just want to test now if we play that. How this is a recording that I this is a recording that I want to put on. This is a recording that I want to put on my first slide. Okay, so you see, you're bringing in sound effects in your, you can make an animation, you can even make an animation that could be shared on the blogs, for the art blog and anything, with your own sound eff effects. There are pre-made sound effects that you guys can put in, for example, if I wanted to put the zap effect, or applause, then I could put in that sound, you'd have that also. And it's also a very good thing if you're doing a... <laughs> for class that you use some of the purple mash tools and then just show it to your teacher okay so try to see if you can put some sound effects in the your presentations as well uh, wonderful to see you all back and we are going to have a wonderful term engaging with purple mash we'll do a lot of lessons making and using learning tools that you can make a little apps and little activities that you can share with others and helps you to learn you're not just relying purely on your brains. You are using tools to learn better. And that's really, really smart. That's called the creative part of learning. What's called critical thinking involves, at the end of the process, making something and using your knowledge in a proper way. You've got your knowledge has to become useful and it needs to become something that you can see and it becomes and it'll help you in the future.